Um, I couldn't be more proud of our team and you know, in the fight that they showed. That was, you know, it's 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 hard it's hard to lose a match like that. It's it's hard to be uh, this close um, uh, t- to a dream and uh, and fall short. You know, we were on the other side of it 24 hours ago, and uh, we're on this side of it tonight. Um, but I thought I thought uh, I thought it was two really two teams really fighting hard. You know, um, you know. Congrats to Stanford, and you know the adjustments they were making as the as the match was go- was going on, and you know we had a real obviously a real ha- hard hard time with Anki, and uh, you know she does what uh, what elite players do. Is she, uh, 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 you know, and uh, and I, and our our middle was was matching her pretty much there. I thought Haley had a had an outstanding match. Um, their bro was was fantastic as well. I thought she did a great job defensively. But you know, there there wasn't a whole lot that separated the two teams. I I, I don't I I thought both teams were playing, laying it all out there on the court and and battling and fighting. And we got uh, we came up on the short end. But you know, it's uh, I'm proud of I'm proud of the journey this team took. I'm proud of the. How far we've come! I'm proud of the fight, and um, uh, I'm proud of the class that they've that they've shown throughout as well. Well, big question: There's microphones on this side. Thanks, Warren. Is it sunk in? Is how is it? How's it sitting with you right now? Um, it's kind of hard to se- accept the fact that we just played our last match in a Wisconsin jersey um, and as a part of this Wisconsin program. So I don't know if it's really sunk in yet. It's just I can't believe it's over. Um, but I am so proud of what this team has done over the year and kind of like what Kelly said, the journey that we've been on. And um, I'm glad to have been part of this senior class. Haley, that had to have been a difficult rendition of varsity, knowing the finality of it all and, and uh, what's going through your mind at that moment. Um, well, you know, I'm just so grateful to have been a part of such an amazing program and played in such an amazing venue like the Field House. So while seeing varsity for the last time was after – obviously a terrible loss that hurts really bad. I really tried to enjoy it because it was my last time on the court with these people that I love so much. So while maybe it seems like it was hard to sing, it wasn't because it's just so special to me to get to play here and to get to do the things like that that make the field house so special. For anyone, what was that moment like when the crowd was acknowledging you at the end? I couldn't be more grateful for all the support that our fans have given us. And they've been become more and more loyal each and every year. And just the turnout and the energy and the amount of support that they give us as a program is huge. And I just hope that we can grow it each and every year and make, um, you know, open that upper deck and get more fans in here and grow that support because this group deserves it. This program deserves it. From a volleyball standpoint, you win a tough second set to go up 2-0, and then they, they were pretty much in control the last three. Was there something that turned it around that they did, that an adjustment they made, something that didn't work? They, they knew they had the block, and that started to add up. What happened? Um, we had a few miscommunication errors uh, starting in the third, and – I mean, Stanford's just a great team, and they pushed us, and we tried to string some points together and make a comeback, and it just didn't happen. It wasn't in the cards. Um, I wouldn't 
I don't know if I'm a player, so I don't know maybe as much strategy as like a coach would look, watching the match. But I don't know if there were really exact adjustments they made that turned the tables on us. But I mean, they're a great team, and they pushed us, and they came out on top. I don't know if it was. I, I certainly didn't look at it as something that we we weren't doing. I mean, they they turned up the heat on their defense. You know that that was that was one one thing. You know, defensively they got they got a little bit better. Um, um, you know, I thought they were they were making some great pursuits. Both teams were making some great pursuits. You know, the block got got going a, a little bit, but uh, there were some different matchups. There was both. Both teams were, were changing the matchups. I thought maybe what they probably did better than anything there uh, coming out of the locker room was that they, they started serving a lot tougher, uh, put a little bit more pressure on us. It was a little bit more difficult for us to stay in our offense. Um, but I'm not sure it was something that we weren't doing. I, th I just, you know, I, I know that can be an easy thing to, to think that, you know, if one team loses, they must have done something wrong and another team wins, they must have done something right. I thought it was just two teams for two and a half hours that were just that were just laying it all out there. And there were sometimes it was easy for both teams to score and hitting at a very high clip. And then there was other times it was just it was really really tough to score because they were just both teams were just putting so much effort out there. But I'm not sure if it was a you know necessarily a, a you know what we were doing poor. But they they made a couple nice adjustments and I thought their serving really picked up uh, at the break. Tori, is there any way to, to prepare yourself for this, for the emotions like this? Have you ever been through something like this? Oh, gosh, no. I think I'm still in denial, too, so <laughs> there's that. Um, you know, at the end of the day, only one team gets to win their last game. And that's just kind of how it is in the tournament. And it wasn't us. That sucks, and it, it sucks, and that's the only way I can explain it. But, I mean, we have an amazing group of girls, and, I mean, they're coming for it next year. <laughs> they're going to come in real hot, and you'll see it. <laughs> Yesterday was obviously a pretty emotional day. Um, then today, it seemed towards the end. Did, did you guys feel emotionally stressed out, or did you kind of feel like you ran out of gas? Or how did yesterday affect today in terms of having to dig so deep yesterday and then find yourself in a similar position today? I don't think yesterday's match had any effect on how we came into the match today, how we felt at the end is what we train for. It's two five setters back to back. And that's why we put in all the time that we do in the spring and in the summer. And we train so hard the way we do. It's for those for those moments. And so I don't think we ran out of gas. I don't think we were emotionally drained. We were still connecting at a high level and we were going for it and just didn't fall in our favor. Haley, it's the last volleyball game. We talked about this last time. How's that feel? Not just not wearing the jersey, but the sport that you love so much in general? Um, it doesn't feel good, um, but I've just, I've just loved being a part of this program so much that all I can be is thankful that I've gotten to play with such amazing people and for such amazing people. And it's just such an amazing experience that even though it's come to an end, I've got nothing but good things from it. And I just, there's just a lot of love, and there wouldn't be tears if there wasn't so much love. And this team is going to win a national championship. You can guarantee it. People need to start believing in the Badgers because they're coming. And it might not have been this year, and it might not have been the past three years, but they will. And it's because they work so hard, and they really, truly deserve it. So while, unfortunately, it wasn't with us on the team, they're coming. Coach, what have these four seniors meant to you and meant to this program? Um, what? Or why you coach? Um, or why you coach? To be to be with selfless people that give everything that they have. 
uh, for each other, uh, for, their, for their school, for their sports. Um, they get out of the shallow end and they dive in the deep end. And they trust and they give you everything that they have. Um, you watch them grow as people. Um, you know, you, you, you have a player like, you know, Tory that hasn't been up here a whole lot, but has, has spent four years just, you know, really, really battling through health and just and does not, you know, she, there are so many times she could have given it up and said it's, it's not worth it, but it, it, it means so much to her, this team does, and this, this program. You know, Romana, you couldn't be more proud of, you know, what, what a you know, the kid comes over here and, you know, what she did tonight was special after last night. You know, I'm so proud of her, you know, and especially last night after the match, not getting great news on her knee. And that was r really bummed her out late at night. And, you know, to dig down and dig deep and to get the performance she did today, her last match in, in Badger jersey, you know, your, shows so much about her character as well. Uh, and Lauren's the best. You know, there, there's, she, she's the best Badger we've ever had. Uh, I... I, I uh, I hope I'm not offending anybody by that, but you know, it's uh, people see the intensity, but what they don't know is that she's ten times the better person that, than she is as a volleyball player. Um, you know, and, and you see the player like Haley Nelson of how f the journey she's come and how far she is she has come, and it's um, I don't know if I've ever been around a player that's improved more in four years, but it's it, it's it's. It's more than just on the court. It's being around them every day and the people they are. It's, it's why you coach. Any other questions? Thanks, guys. Thank you.